So, FL Studio is not that complicated. What? To prove it to you, I'm going to be breaking it down in a way that even a baby will start making beats after watching this video. So without wasting time, let's dive into it. So in FL Studio, we have five different sections. And these five sections have different purposes. First, we have the browser. The browser is where you access your sounds, instruments, and one shots. You can browse through your files and drag and drop them directly into your project. To add a one shot, just right click and select open a new channel and it will automatically open a new channel for you on the channel rack. Now let's talk about the channel rack. The channel rack is where you organize and sequence your sounds. You can add instruments, samples and plugins to create your music. Each sound is represented as a channel and you can arrange them to build your tracks. To add a note, just left click and to delete a note, just right click. To add a visual instrument, just click on the plus button and then select your plugin. Now the channel rack is mainly used to make drums but to make melodies or a chord progression or complex drum patterns, you will need the piano roll. The piano roll is where you create and edit MIDI notes for your instruments. You can draw in notes, adjust their timing and their pitch and create melodies and also chord progressions. To access the piano roll from the channel rack, just right click on the instrument that you want to edit and then select open in piano roll. To add a note, just left click and to delete a note, just right click. Same thing with the channel rack. Now, once you are done with that, you will have something called a loop. And that's when you will need the playlist. The playlist is where you arrange your patterns to create your song structure and turn it into a full song. You can place patterns, audio clips and automation clips on the playlist to build your tracks however you want. Now to assess the loop that you've made, just go to the left hand side of the playlist and you'll see these three icons. One is for pattern clips, the next one is for audio clips and the last one is for automation clips. So just go to the one for the pattern clips and then drag and drop your patterns into the playlist. Now before you drag and drop them into the playlist, if you have all your elements in one particular pattern, in just one pattern, all you have to do is right click on the pattern and then click on split by channel. This means separating every element in your track. Now instead of being in one pattern clip, they are going to be in individual pattern clips. So which means you have more controls when you are trying to edit or arrange your song. So after you've arranged your track, you need to adjust the volume and then also add effects. So that's when the mixer comes into play. The mixer allows you to adjust the volume, the panning and also apply effects to individual tracks in your project. To send your pattern clips into individual mixer tracks, just go back to the channel rack and you see this box here. Just set it to the track that you want it to be in. Now we are done with the 5 sections of FL Studio, now let's talk about everything up here. Now before we continue, I just want to say that we can't cover everything in FL Studio in one video or the video will be 100 hours long. So that's why we've made dedicated video for each of the 5 sections of FL Studio and also we've made videos on other tips and tricks that you need to get set you know, in FL Studio and we arrange them in one playlist. The link will be in the description so make sure to check them out. Now, the first thing we have here is the menu bar. So the menu bar contains various drop down menus that provide access to a wide range of commands and settings in FL Studio. So these menus include option for file management, project settings, plugin management, editing tools, pattern management and more. 
then down here we have the hint panel so the hint panel is very important especially for beginners so for example if you are hovering on something maybe an icon or anything or a switch or a button in fl studio and you don't know what it is just hover on it and then look at the hint panel it will tell you exactly what you are hovering on here we have the master page and then the master volume and then next to it we have the transport controls which is just the pattern mode the song mode so the pattern mode is if you want to hear what is happening on the channel rack you can switch it to pattern mode and then the song mode is if you want to hear what is happening on the playlist you can switch it to song mode and then next we have the play the pause the stop and then next to that we have the bpm so this is where you set the bpm of your song and then down here we have the sick button so you can drag this to go to any position of the song you want so everything here are just functions and commands that provide quick access to essential tools for music production so it includes functions like metronome countdown before recording loop recording multi-link controllers and so on up here we have the song timer and then down here we have the general snap sentence next to it we have the pattern selector so this is where you select your patterns if you have more than one pattern in your song and then up here we have the master monitor and then next to it we have the master meter here we have the performance monitor so this displays the performance of your cpu in real time so if you want to know how your cpu is coping with fl studio being in your computer this is where you see it and then finally these icons here are just shortcuts for the five main sections of fl studio there are also other icons here that are also shortcuts for other sections of fl studio so make sure you check them out so i hope you got value from this video make sure to like comment and subscribe